It's Mark Munoz. Keep listening to The Roman Show. Awesome. So, Mark, what have you been up to after that, that loss? Of course, it didn't go your way. And, well, what did you learn in the first place? I uh, learned not to take a fight injured. No, I'm just kidding. Strike that out. <laughs> but, uh, no, no, what I learned is, um, you know, I mean, you gotta be, you got to be composed. you got to be composed in the fight. And, and I kind of let, let my emotions get to me the second round and um, kind of reverted back to what I used to be when I first fought. Like at, at light heavyweight. Andrea. Yeah, so like for me, I learned a lot. You know, I learned a lot, and um, you know, I'm I'm just gonna improve from that from that loss. For me too, when I when I fought Chris Weidman, he took me down. Like it's crazy because I don't get taken down very much, and um, just to put a lot of people. At ease, I had one, you know, had, had some reasons why that happened, but I'm not going to say why. But suffice to say, he's a great fighter. He uh, he deserves he deserves a win. He threw the elbow, landed the elbow, and that's it. You know, he much much props goes to him. You know, you're and, you're uh, bleeding a lot in that fight, man. I yeah. mean, tell me about the, the the injury after. I mean, what did you feel anything? Uh, no, not really. I mean. I mean, it's just, it's just all the part of, it's part of the gig, you know, it's part of the gig, and, and uh, just moving forward from here on out. So what, what's next for Mark Munoz? I mean, are we going to see you soon in action, or still waiting on an opponent? I'm just still waiting, still waiting right now. I mean, I'm, I'm uh, you know, kind of just taking it easy right now, because my elbow's still bum, and I'm, I had a broken foot, so, you know, just healing from that. So I'm just, you know, I just got injuries. Not a good year for me, but next year is going to be good. Hey, Mark, and I wanted to ask you something about you and Hector Lumbar. What, what was going on there? <laughs> you guys were going at it, man. Well, the thing is, like with me and Hector Lombard, he, uh, I kept getting questions about, you know, does Hector Lombard deserve a title shot? Should he win against uh, Tim Boach? And I said, no, he doesn't. Just being honest and, and honest and upfront, I said, no, he doesn't. He came from Bellator. Uh, he's fighting a different organization. He needs to win. He needs to win a few fights before he even even asks for a title shot, you know. And you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. And I think he took that personally. He took that personally. And you know, I have no ill ill will towards him at all. All respect goes to him. He's a great fighter, but I've been in an organization bleeding for them for years, you know, and I felt like I deserved that. But now I got to work my way back up, but like like he does. So, um, so yeah. So I mean, that's the only thing. That's the only thing that happened. And you know, I respect him, dude. He's a good fighter. He's a really good fighter. But at the same time, you got to earn your stripes in the division too. Now you say you're a little hurt, but I mean, you're doing somewhat some sort of training. Do what? You see you're hurt, but you've been doing some sort of training? Oh uh, yeah, I've been I've been rolling and trying not to do uh, a lot of weight bearing stuff, explosive stuff on my foot. Um, rehabbing still my elbow and stuff. So, um, so yeah, just rehabbing a bunch of stuff, man. Just keep trying to get back. It's the life of a fighter. You guys don't he really hear about it, but you know, the thing is, is you have adversity, you confront the adversity, and you rise above it. It's all about transcendence, you know, and I'm going to rise above it. I'm going to get back to where I was at, and I have that goal set, and I want to be a world champ. So, you know, having said that, I play many roles in my life. Um, you know, not only a fighter, but I'm a father, I'm a gym owner, I'm a husband, I'm a, you know, I'm a friend, you know, and I, and I try to strive to be as best as I can in those roles as well. So, I try to be the best I can in all areas of my life, you know, not just fighting. So, um, I've learned a lot in this injury, you know, I learned a lot. My relationships that I have, I cherish, you know, with, with my family, with my friends, with the people I meet, the people at uh, Rain Training Center. Um, you know, that's, that's, you know, the people in the Philippines, you know, mahal kita, mahal, mahal kayo doon sa Pilipinas. So, you know, I, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just anxious to get back. Well, you seem very humbled after that loss. Oh, yeah, very humble. You know, a lot of, you know, the thing about losing is you, you learn a lot from, from your losses and, and I learned a lot from that loss. And you better believe that Mark Munoz is coming back. Did you see yourself the next day in the mirror and say, hey, you know, you lost, but you can learn from this stuff the next day after after the fight? For sure. You always learn. Every time I step into the octagon, I learn. So, 
um, definitely going to learn from it and, and move on. And looking at the fight, like we review it, does it does it kind of like give you the itch like, gosh, I shouldn't have done that or I should have done this? You always, you always do. Even if you win, you always look back and you say, man, I could have done this better. And, that, and that, that's all about competing. You step into the octagon not knowing what's going to happen. You try to put your best foot forward and, you know, let the chips fall where they may. And sometimes they don't fall the way you want them to fall. And you just got to pick them back up and try again. And that's, that's what it's all about. And, and uh, we put our lives on the line in there, you know, a lot of times, you know. And, uh, you know, this is the sport that we love and this is the sport that we want to build. And this is the sport that um, that's going to stay around for a long time. So, you know, I'm happy to say, I'm proud to say that I'm one of the pioneers to do it. And, uh, you know, I'm excited for what the future holds for MMA. And as a Filipino, I know you're a big Pacquiao fan. You must uh, be. Huge. So you want to see the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight going? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. And, and, you know, if, if you don't want to see it, you're crazy, you know, but yeah, everyone wants to see that fight. That fight's going to be awesome. If it happens. If it happens, then you, you, I would assume that you would give the uh, the heads up to uh, to Pacquiao, the winner. Of course, man. Man, if I say Mayweather, dude, shoot. You know, I'd have I'd have the whole country of the Philippines, like, mob me. But I'm down, man. I'm down for Manny. Manny's a man. Awesome. Um, have, have you ever met him in person? Oh yeah, I you, trained at Wildcard Gym and I trained with Freddie Roach and um, you know I, I was there when he was training for uh, De La Hoya and, and um, you know uh, Marquez. So you know I, I'm you know I know that camp. You, know, and, you learn a you learn a couple of things, Pac Man. Yeah, but I don't have the gifts and talents that he has, man. He's unbelievable. He's so fast. So, you know, but but he's been boxing for a very long time, and and that's something that that I you know want to strive for, you know, and and constantly get better, trying to strive for. It. But you know, will I get there? Probably not. But you know, I'm going to use my wrestling to be able to, you know, use my striking and my wrestling to be able to get where I want to be in the fight.